So I'll have Zard start on his side. And he'll roll to press. He'll maintain about a 45 degree angle with his arm and he'll match that angle with his leg. And now he's going to roll to his elbow. And then he's going to come up and pose to his hand. And then he's going to do a low sweep. You see this nice hinge position uh, in his hips, and then I'm going to have him come up into a lunge position and windshield wiper his foot in back room to square his hips. And then he'll go ahead and stand in the lunge position, and then he's going to reverse the movements. Lunge to a soft knee, that same movement of that windshield wiper with his lower leg, so he can now hinge to post. And he'll do the same low sweep. Under control, he'll come to his elbow and to his back. He'll roll back to his side with two hands. Okay, now I'm going to have Zar turn, face the camera in the back. We're going to show a couple movements that we see done wrong uh, quite often, and he's going to do it without a kettlebell uh, because you don't want to load poor movement. Okay, so I'm going to have him come up to his elbow, and then he's going to kind of lose his shoulder here. And if you see, if I was to put pressure, is he, if he had a heavy kettlebell here, and I push down, you can see how that can impinge the shoulder and to compromise the movement. Now I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and have him fix that, and notice how with packed shoulders, this makes it a much stronger movement. He's going to come up to his hand from that position, and I'm going to have him kind of do the same thing and lose that shoulder, and see how you can see how this can cause issues. And pack that shoulder anti-shrug that shoulder and it makes it a lot stronger position. Okay, and then I'm going to have him go ahead and carry on to the low sweep. Up, windshield wiper. And then this we often see in the lunge position where the elbow unlocks. Go ahead and lunge. And then it straightens out sometimes at the top and I'm going to have him unlock again as he comes down. So you want to keep that elbow locked because unlocking the elbow can uh, greatly compromise shoulder stability. Okay, and then I'm going to have him continue. Maintaining the shoulder packing, nice alignment. There you have it. Thank you so much.